Hello, everybody, and welcome to Poland Daily Travel. Um, at the top, I'd like to say that if you see us on YouTube, please like us uh, if you enjoy what you're seeing. And if you don't enjoy us, uh, put a comment. Tell us why. It'll probably be because Nicholas is too beautiful for you, I would, I would suppose. Uh, that's certainly a possibility. Yeah. I, I mean, yeah. We, you get those comments. I do Facebook, get those comments, yes, occasionally, yeah. yes. Stop looking so good, Yeah. people say to you. Indeed. You're too professional. I know. That's what people say. Yeah. They say, can't, you know, what about this chap you always appear in the studio with? Can't somebody give him a few tips? Yeah, That's my ex-wife say. was telling me, you know. Yeah. Great. Scott, I could learn from that guy. Of course. I said, yeah, you sure could. He looks pretty good in a skirt. Ha, ha, ha. Yeah. Yes. At any rate, we were talking about, oh, Harold, are you there? I am indeed ah, here. There he is. Hi. How At are you? my Teutonic, former Teutonic Baltic outpost. On, on <laughs> Tallinn. That was Tallinn, a yes, indeed. Was that Historic a Hanseatic city. port? It was, wasn't it? And of, do you realize that at one time, uh, Tallinn had the world's tallest building? Is it still there? Yes, indeed. It's uh, Saint Olaf's Church. It takes two hundred and fifty-eight steps to reach the summit, the lookout. It's in the old town, is it? It is. It is formerly the world's tallest building circa 1,500-something or other. Don't ask me. Oh, wow. I didn't know that, but I have, uh, I've, seen, I've been to Tallinn, and I've got pictures of that, uh, of that building, but I didn't go to the top for some reason. We must go and check it out. Lazy. lazy. That's lazy. why. Yeah. Very lazy. In the last segment, uh, if people re may remember from, the, from watching that one, and if they didn't, I'll just refresh them, because it's a very exciting It segment. was exciting and controversial, exciting. yes. Yes, you mentioned a film that you really loved, <laughs> yeah. starring the fantastic Johnny Depp, uh, yeah. uh, famous for beating his wife. And, uh, allegedly. 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 And allegedly. I, I like Johnny Depp. I mean, maybe, you know, maybe she was asking for it. I don't know. <laughs> Sean Connery said... Uh, yes, well... Now, you can't hit a lady. No, you can't. There's no reason to hit a lady. I know. Yeah, there are. A lot of reasons. You just can't hit No, them. no, there are no... There are reasons you just can't do it. Which allow a man to hit a woman. You Sorry. can't do it, but there are reasons. <laughs> Don't be a liar, Harold. You may wish to. You may have the impulse to do so, but one cannot. One must act as I a just civilized said that. man and not as an ostrogoth. I just said that. All right. Very good. Yes. Mm. No so, ostrogothic You're behavior. making it sound like I didn't say that. Yes. Yeah. Uh, but I appreciate that. And then he said he loved the film The Tourist, and then Harold immediately murdered your well, whole concept that's okay. there. He said it was just a lousy there, film. There are still 90 seconds of cinema bliss, which nobody can take away. <laughs> Destroy, it, it destroyed, yeah. It destroyed the career of the director and all yeah, the rest well, of it. But I've got a movie. Okay. You want to hear about yes, it? Yes, please. Okay. It's called The Motorcycle Diaries. Have you seen it, Harold? Oh, yes, I have. It's a very fine film. Yes, it's about the early life of Che Guevara before he started murdering people. Ah. And yes, it just goes to that show that becoming a communist will make you murder people. Yeah, it tends to. If you get any power. What did you say, Harold? It's a bit of a hagiography. Uh, yeah, it's, uh, well, it's, it's a beautiful film. He, he's a medical student, and so is his friend. They're both medical students, and before, uh, before they take up their residency... I think that's what it was. Uh, so in between medical school and going to work in a hospital, they take a trip from uh, Argentina up to the north of, of uh, South America and many adventures along the way. Isn't that right, Harold? Yes, if only he could have learned some wisdom uh, which would have prevented him from joining a murderous group of so-called communist thugs who proceeded to impose one of the worst police states that mankind has ever known, which still imprisons its people on its fortress island. I am so glad you said that. You took the words right out of my mouth. But I think the point, the reason I really like the movie is because it's a really good story about young men on an adventure. Yes. And at that point, they're still very idealistic and worthy. They're going to be doctors, and they see a lot of uh, people who need help uh, along the way, medical help, and they do a lot of, uh, they do care for people for free uh, in the various places they pass through, and uh, it's, it is a, uh, to use the phrase, a rite of passage, a rite literally, of passage. In, a, in fact, because you also see uh, 
the film tries to show you the way his attitude changes as he passes through South America and witnessing the poverty and etc. But instead of wanting to start a nice business, yeah, exactly. They could employ people. Let's destroy the businesses that exist. Let's destroy Let's, all the businesses, yeah, and make them poorer, and then murder them. Yes. Well, Will, there's a, there's a <laughs> phrase by your namesake, Will Rogers, the great American humorist, which encapsulizes th that film and what supposedly Che Guevara learned. Under capitalism, man exploits man, and under communism, it's the other way around. <laughs> That's great. We'll, uh, we have to end with that R Will Rogers quote. Very nice, very nice. Nicholas, thanks for being my, here. My pleasure. Uh, the movie we were discussing was Motorcycle Diaries. And uh, before that, we finished off with a, a little bit about The Tourist and how much Harold hated your choice. <laughs> the Tourist, yes, Just exactly. detested your choice. I know. Never yeah, mind. He's a nice man. Yes, I don't mean it. It's free speech. Yeah, free speech. He's a good fellow. Yep. Okay. All right. Not in that sense, like the movie. <laughs> No, he's just a nice guy. Okay. Because I saw you. You flinched. <laughs> I don't you think flinched. so. You flinched. I've been needing some protection money. No, i got to no. pass it off to Harold. Okay. <laughs> Thanks for watching, everybody. <laughs> Hang in there.